What's up guys? So I just got a quick little video for you. It is not the update video. The update is not live yet. I just wanted to make this video to sort of give you guys a heads up for this weekend. Uh, the update is not ready yet, so there's a potential it could be delayed. That's kind of why I'm making a video, so no matter what, you'll have a video today. It could still be out tonight, so if you see another video, then, you know, ignore this, but... Uh, the plan is to either release it tonight or tomorrow. Uh, my birthday is on Sunday, so definitely got to get it out before then. So, uh, no worries. But uh, it's been uh, it's been pretty fun these last couple of weeks. I just want to talk a little bit about where we're at and everything. Um, I know the player count is sort of slowed down towards the, the the middle here. The event has ended. We don't have any double experience or anything like that going on. And, um, you know, our advertisement videos have slowed down. We have one left, and I have no clue when we'll get it. Hopefully hopefully at some point but uh you know we're gonna kick up pick up that pace again in the future and then voting of course will help out so uh, player count is definitely our, our our number one like you know our number one issue and also like one of the harder you know it's always gonna be an issue right that's the that's the whole thing right is players that's that's why we're coding right if we have zero players then what the fuck is the point of doing anything so players is the key to everything even if you're an iron man you you know it's, it's always fun to have an active server and we plan to have a ton of, like, group activities and events and stuff like that. So, uh, Dark already coded the boss mechanic, uh, the group boss mechanic that we had uh, from Revival 1, if you might remember, Vasa or the Chicken Boss or whatever. We had a bunch of different weird ones, but um, Vasa was the obvious one everyone wanted to kill because you could get a twisted bow. So, um, yeah, that's coming very soon. It's not going to come this weekend, but next weekend we will have our very first group boss, and we will have a nice, fun weekend. I, uh... Uh, we'll have some sort of double point weekend. I'm going to talk to Bank. Bank is our community manager. Uh, I know he's bu been busy and he doesn't have the in-game rank to show it. Uh, so it's kind of not as known. But he is our community manager and I'm going to get with him and we'll, we'll sort of work out a schedule. So I'll release a video soon uh, talking about that. But I just wanted to let you guys know that it, you know, it's not something we're, we're ignoring or we're unaware of. Uh, it's, it's important to us and it's, it's going to be important to us the entire time the server exists. Um... There's been a lot of internal discussions about, you know, what we can do to help. Obviously, uh, co you know, an update every week is a big part of it that's going to help. But that's only so much. We have to do some things that are, are just going to make the server more friendly. A, a big thing uh, we're having is a lot of people are having issues connecting to the server. I'm going to make a client guide very soon. I apologize for the lack of videos this week. I just have been super busy. Uh, I'll, I mean, I'll, I guess I'll just explain. I just been going to the gym like double time. Uh, I recently, uh, I recently, um, lost my train of thought there. Anyway, so I, as I was saying, like I, this week I, I, I weigh myself on the seventh, which is yesterday when I'm uploading this video and, uh, finally made it under 300 pounds. So I'm at 297. So I just wanted to make sure I had a good week this week and, uh, that's why I hadn't had enough time to make videos. So apologize that but i already have two i already have a master's uh series recorded i just have to edit it and it's kind of a big one i guess it's kind of i mean it's not really a spoiler because i mean you already know most people but uh it's a bigger one so that's just why i hadn't released it yet and I'll, i want to make it sure it's released on a good day i guess sunday makes the most sense but birthday, i'll do that then but uh yeah so i just uh, been doing good i'm still been doing good i'm still good in, in my head i know that that's a concern that we've had a lot in the past especially when i don't make videos when i don't make videos people think oh okay you're going dark or you if you're not playing the server as much you know i i, I don't want people to, to think that that's the case i'm still doing good in real life i'm still doing good uh dark is doing good as well he's been doing a ton of updates for us he's been he's doing a lot behind the scenes uh i believe bone crusher is nearly done uh high scores just got finished i am rank one let me refresh this bad boy make sure we're still rank one yeah got a nice healthy lead i would <laughs> i need to do pvm but like i don't know it's just so much easier to afk and skill like i can do i can code at the same time as this i can't really code and bandos at the same time I need a, I don't know, I need to just cheat, make myself like a, a an item that doesn't, doesn't die or something. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, so I'll get back to the topic of this video. I just wanted to kind of show off that a uh, little bit about what we're talking about. I already showed that it is, is all, is all is coming this update. Is all, uh, let me go, I believe he's a uh, boss is all. Not going to show too much. Uh, I'll show his drops and then I'll just kind of show what he looks like. I changed his appearance a little bit. I think the the dark blue looks better than the black because the shoulder thingies are attached to the hood. So it's like you can only, they have to be the exact same color. And then I tried the light blue because then that would match even better. But um, 
I just didn't think that looked good either. It didn't really fit the, the logic what I was going for. Is the, the, He's supposed to be kind of like an evil person. So, I mean, you know, you gotta have darker colors, right? That's that's how it works. Uh, so he will be a mage boss. You can only use wrath spells against him. That's at least the plan. I haven't coded that yet. So, I mean, if that doesn't end up working in my like the way I want it to, then maybe that's going to change. It's kind of an awkward area, and it's kind of an awkward boss because uh, only one person can kill it at a time. I know that that's hated by a lot of people. I'm going to really, really try hard to, to not do a lot of that in this I, I, on Revival 1, I, I was really, like, I, I, I just did that all the time. I made bosses like that where only one person could kill it. And I was like, ah, tough it out. RuneScape doesn't have bosses you can instance. So we don't have bosses you can instance. But the thing, the problem with that logic is RuneScape also has different worlds. So even if you can't instance a boss, you can hop to a different world and find that. Whereas with Revival, we only have the one world. So, I mean, instances are so much more valuable. So moving forward, there will be a lot more instances. But there's also going to be occasional bosses like this. Where they're not instance. I just wanted you to know that so uh, you can get your, your pitchforks ready and you can head to Falador. So while we're at home real quick, I just want to talk about, as, as I was mentioning earlier, with, with we're trying to appeal to more players, I think we're, we're probably going to change the home location. I have a pretty good idea of like why, and it, it really fits with the lore I was already creating for the server, so it's going to make a lot of sense. Uh, but I just wanted people to know that... Uh, because I think I think it just we're gonna kind of give in and make a box, a, just a small, simple home where everything is close together, very easy access. Uh, that's just what people want. That's that's private servers. This nice, big, fun home. I mean, it it, it works for some people, but if you want more than than eight players on a on a Friday, you you, you gotta you gotta start appealing to more people. So I think that's one thing we're gonna do. Another thing that's uh, on the topic of appealing to more people is I I've always had the mindset that double experience is kind of what am I looking for? I'm looking for drop tables. <laughs> it's kind of overplayed, right? Everybody uses double experience all the time as like a advertisement scheme or whatever. But I mean, it works, right? That's why they do it. So I mean, people will play more if it's double experience. So I think having double experience not all every weekend, but I think having it more frequently than originally planned is also another thing we're gonna do. I'll go over the Izal drops. So it's basically invention, rune, magic stuff. That's the logic of Izal. Izal was... A, if I didn't explain Izal already, I'll just give you a brief explanation again. He worked with Oldak. So he was a wizard that worked with Oldak and was always obsessed with the logic of trying to combine magic and invention. And uh, found a energy source that is called Dark Energy. And uh, it sort of has some bad side effects, but... Uh, it sort of taken it took him down a dark path, and that's why he's a uh, mad wizard now. Uh, so that's the logic of why he's kind of got that stuff. So you can get the as a non-donator, you can now get generic armor, some of that, that block. It's just stuff you disassemble for components, so it's not like it's important or anything like that. But you know, it can now be obtained. Uh, some runes, a uh, book of basic inventions. I'll talk about that in a few seconds. Uh, Dusk Mystic. I uh, I do plan to add the catacomb, not the catacombs, the uh, the what's it called? The Cromulon, the Cromulon dungeon or whatever. Uh, and the, what are they, Brimstone keys, Brimstone keys, yeah. But I, I also, I don't think that this armor really matters. Like, it it really doesn't. I'm mostly just adding it for, like, uh, it just because it, it looks cool. But it's just mystic, right? Isn't it just mystic? So, you know, whatever. But I, I, I figured why not throw it on this thing, give him more drops than he needs. Curved Bone is supposed to be the dark energy. I, I haven't updated the server yet. That's why it's there. But So just ignore that. And then the Book of Creation, which I've already mentioned again, but I'll uh, briefly show it. It is this book right here. It is the all of the God Books combined. It is the Tier 99 invention. And uh, it is, yeah, it's probably going to be your best in slot thingy. I'll have to look at the Avernic Defender stats and compare it melee-wise. And as well as whatever the, what is the best range shield? Is it Buckler? I'll, I'll have to compare them and see. But it'll 100% be the best tribid shield no matter what. But it, it'll likely be uh, it'll likely be an in-game item. And it also just coincidentally fits with the nice uh, color scheme of the Titan gear. So the Book of Basic Inventions is essentially just a schematic. But it opens up to like five different recipes. Uh, I don't know how many will be on release. At least at least two. And um, they'll just... It's exactly what it sounds like. It's Basic Inventions. It's just kind of the little things that, that didn't need a full-on schematics by themselves. Um, we might extend it in the future and add like a second page where there's 10, you know, if we come up with that many things. 
Uh, one of them that I will tell you right now so you get a little sneak peek if you watch this video and you play the server until before the update comes out or whatever. Uh, light energy is going to be a thing that you can get from enhanced crystal keys. And you'll have, if you make the, if you use the, the invention in here, you can turn it into dark energy. So that could be a good way to get dark energy without having to actually get the boss. When you do the boss, you're most likely going to get enough because uh, it doesn't say the amounts, but you're actually going to get two to five. So you'll get potentially five energy in one go and you only need 15 to make the book. So by the time you get the schematic, it's possible you would already have the energy. But, you know, if you didn't, this would be another option. So you didn't have to permanently kill the boss until you got the energy. So that'll probably do it for the end of the video. There's a couple other things that'll come out with the update, but you'll just have to see what they are. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you, uh, I, hopefully tonight with another video, maybe tomorrow. Um, you know, see you soon.